Hello, dear students. Today we're going to talk about quality standards, accreditation, and self-evaluation models. After completing this chapter, you will be able to define and innovate the concepts of standards, standardization, and quality standards. You could be able to explain national and international quality standardization and applications, explain the concepts and purpose of accreditation, national and international accreditation institutions, and the last, you could define the concepts of self-evaluation and explain the models is applied. Before we begin this chapter, again, we need to remember what is quality. Quality is an organization-wide process. Quality is what the customer says it is whatever they expect, whatever they want, everything. Quality is a way of managing. Quality is an ethic because quality gives us what is wrong, what is right. Everything gives us the standards, shows us what is incorrect, what is correct. That's why it's an ethic. Quality is the most cost-effective, least capital-intensive route to productivity. And the last quality is implemented as a total system connected to both customers and suppliers. Standard, when we talk about standard in the organizations or in the business, we're talking about policies, rules, directives, procedures. For what? For all transactions in the businesses to guide employees to successfully perform their jobs. There are a number of features that the standards use for production or services delivery in enterprises. And these standards the safety of human health, life and property we need it. It's ensure that uniformity of products or services require the production of quality products and services require that they are produced, especially economically, in accordance with the intended use. Standards are based on the verified results of scientific, technical, experimental research. And the last standards are proven by accuracy. Mostly, standards involve with the processes. Which processes? Every facilities that in the business from the production factors, production process used in production of goods or services. So, standards are important for the businesses to unify all the activities. When we talk about standardization, it's the process of setting and applying certain rules for corporation all her parties. The basic document is the standard for standardization. And quality standards are the predetermined criteria that will ensure the production of goods and services meets with the expectations of the members. Who are the demanders? Everything is up at the outside. Customers, suppliers, the other businesses, government. So they are demanders. They are waiting good production, good services from us. These quality 
these standards shouldn't be considered as futures that should be required only after the goods and services have been obtained. So, in the enterprise, everybody should understand the standards are for their good and they should accept that standards as a whole. A national standard is a sector specified standard that is published by the relevant organization of a country. In Turkey, Turkish Standards Institute is prepared such standards. The standards prepared by Turkish Standards Institute, the participation of all relevant stakeholders in line with the international standards pre preparation principles. Other standardization activity of the TSE is to ensure that current standards are regularly updated. As per the international systematic review principles, the TSE systematically reviews evaluates the standards in five years, every five years, for revision, for amended, repeal or accept, acceptance. Why five years? Because like we said, standards should be updated because everything is changing so fast and changing makes differences about standards too. So that's why every five years businesses they should revise their standards too. International standards are the standards public published by international organizations. There are some members of countries and different sector standards and open to use from all countries. Accreditation is one of the most important issues. For what? For quality. Many different sectors, they are trying to get accredited. So increasingly challenging Conditions of competition in businesses is important and the purpose of getting the standards, getting the quality. Accreditation is a way to ensure quality assurance, independent external evaluation, methods of obtaining a quality certificate, a document that is, an, that is not permanent and is valid for a certain period of time and evaluation process. A process at the end of the which organization is decided to be accredited or not accredited. A process where the institution and the organization must prove that quality criteria used in their works a process where after getting, receiving this document, institutions or, or organizations are controlled period, periodically. A process where, if requested by the institution, is initiated and monitored. Self-evaluation is a review best based on systematic concrete data that allows an information to identify strengths and they have to find out their strengths because of the improvement and periodically measure for the progress. So self-evaluation enables organization to evaluate themselves. So there are some techniques about it. 
SWOT analysis, PEST analysis, observations, comparing, integrating and applied development models we're talking about. In this chapter, we define and interrelate the concepts of standards, standardization and quality standards, explain national and international quality standardization and applicants, explain the concepts and purpose of accreditation and national and international accreditation institutions, and we define at the end of the concepts of self regulation and explain the models is applied. See you in the next chapter.